Yes, first of all, I would like to tell you that if you are watching this video first time, subscribe my channel to see my more upcoming videos on the analysis of different commodities and equity indices. And second important thing is to watch this video till its end to understand this solely to take your decision. Your work like will motivate me to be regular in working more for you. So let us start the day to analyze the movements of natural gas futures in a 4 hour time frame here. So here, first of all, I would like to tell you that how to recognize a opening gap on Friday when the network futures closes on Friday, we could determine the upcoming gap whether it will be a gap up or a gap down. So friends, today I'm going to share my in-depth analysis on gaps and trend recognition that how the natural switches find a sudden change in its trend. So friends, here you can see that how the natural switches tested a high at the last of the 10.005 on August 23rd. And since the formation of this peak, we have seen a sliding move in natural futures since August 23rd. So here as you can see that how the natural futures continue to move downward and found some support at the level of the 7.850 on September 8, 2022. And once again, an upward move was there when the natural futures tried to sustain well above the level of the 9.196, but it could not. And finally, once again, the natural switches found sharp selling from here and here you can see that how the natural switches found a big down well below the levels of the 9 on September 15th. Since then, this downward move turned into a steeper slide when the natural switches continued to slide and tested a low at the levels of the 4.917 on October 21st and here you can see that how the natural switches closed this week. What formation was there which resulted in this gap up opening on October 23rd. So let me zoom this portion for you. So friends here you can see that how the natural switches formed a bullish dozy here at the closing of October 21st. And this resulted in a gap up opening on October 23rd. And here you can see that how the natural switches found a base here after this opening. And this uptrend got confirmation with this candle on October 24th. And once again, the natural switches found stiff resistance at the first order 5.829 up to October 24th. So friends here you can see that after a gap up opening natural switches traded in a narrow range before a big out move on October 24th. Once again the natural switches continued to face stiff resistance at the level of the 5.848 and here you can see that how a final breakout was seen on October 25th after the formation of this bullish crossover. So friends here I would like to tell you that this is a 9 days moving average in blue color when this 9 days moving average crossed upward to 18 days moving average this formed a bullish crossover in a 4 hour time frame that resulted in this breakout when the natural switches finally tested the 9 days moving average and uptrend started here. So friends now let me zoom out this and once again you can see that how the natural switches continue to face stiff resistance here at the level of the 6.275 till November 11 when the natural switches tested a low at the level of the 5.906 before the formation of this bullish candle on November 4th and this got confirmation with the breakout on Friday when the natural switches found a breakout well above the 200 days moving average in a 4 hour time frame and finally the natural switches closed this week and here you can see that how the natural switches found a weekly closing in the same manner as we have already seen here which resulted in a gap up opening on this week and once again this formation resulted in a gap up opening on the first trading session of this week so friends now once again let me zoom this version for you. So here once again you can see that how the natural switches formed a bullish dozy well above the 200 days moving average on Friday's closing which resulted in a gap up opening on November 6th. 
Undoubtedly, there was offered more after this gap up, but here you can see that how the Nigerian switches continued to find stiff resistance at the rest of the 7.220 on November 7. And from here, a sharp sell off started that resulted in a downward move that continued to drag down the natural switches once again up to the levels of the 5.727. And finally, the 9 days moving average turned downward well below the 18 days moving average, which confirmed a bearish pressure in natural prices. And finally, the natural switches continued to remain well below the 200 days moving average. No doubt, the, the natural switches try to sustain well above the 200 days moving average on the number 1 but could not and finally a breakdown was there on November 11 when the natural switches tested a low at the last hour 5.784. So here you can see that how the natural switches found stiff resistance here at the last hour 7.220 on November 7. From where a sharp sell off started and the natural switches tested a low at the last order 5.737. But here you can see that how the natural switches continue to sustain in an uptrend with high highs and higher lows in a 4 hour time frame. And finally, a breakout move was there when the natural switches tested a low well below the levels of dollar 5.878 on number 16 but found a significant buying support from here and finally the natural switches found a breakout well above the 200 days moving average and continued to rally up to the levels of dollar 7.599 on number 23rd so here you can see that how the natural switches once again found stiff resistance at the rest of the 7.397 during this week and the natural switch once again started a downward bow on number 29 and here you can see that how the natural switches continue to slide downward and here you can see that how the natural switches closed this week with a bearish dozy on Friday well below the 200 days moving average which resulted in the get down opening on December 2nd undoubtedly the natural switches remained under selling pressure when the natural switches tested a low at the last dollar 5.341 on December 6th but once again the natural switches found a strong support at this level as we have seen here during the month of November when the natural switches tested this level it does a 5.350 so here you can see that how this level seems to be a significant support for natural switches so friends here you can see that how the level of the 5.330 seems to be a significant support for the natural bulls from where once again an uptrend started on December 6th and the natural switches found a sharp reversal here and tried to find a breakout well above the 200 days moving average but could not and finally closed this week with a bullish hammer that followed by a bullish dozy on December 9th which resulted in a gap up opening on the first trading session of the week of December 11. So here yeah, you can see that once again the natural switches formed the same formation on Friday's close before a gap up opening on the first trading session of this week. So here yeah, you can see that how the natural switches started this week well with a gap up opening on December 11. Since then the natural switches continued to trade amid a narrow range where any downward move well below the last dollar 6.515 found buying and on the upper side the natural switches found stiff resistance at the level of the 7.041 and here you can see that how the natural switches traded during this week and finally the natural switches found stiff resistance at the level of the 7.101 on December 13th and the natural switches found an advent of a selling spree since 
December 13th, and here you can see that how the natural resources continue to remain under selling pressure but try to sustain well above the 200 days moving average up to December 15th. From where a breakout move was seen on December 15th when the natural history just tested a high at the Russell 7.039, but a sharp sell off was seen here that resulted in this formation. So here you can see that how the natural switches once again formed stiff resistance in today's trading session after testing a high at the Russell dollar 7.027 from where a sharp sell was seen on December 15 despite the announcement of bullish inventory where the withdrawal was more than expected levels. Undoubtedly, changing weather conditions look evident enough to keep the demand on the lower side that resulted in this downward move when the natural switches continued to face stiff resistance once again at the order 6.660. And here you can see that how the natural switches formed stiff resistance once again at the order 6.964. For where a sharp sell off was seen that resulted in the formation of this exhaustive candle, which got confirmation with this formation. And finally, the natural switches are currently trading at the sort of 6.603, where I find that the natural switches could find a big down well below the 200 days swing average in today's trading session. So, friends, here I find that if the natural switches find a weekly closing well below the level sort of 6.086 we will see a gap down opening on the first trading session of the upcoming week. So friends here I find that during the upcoming week the natural switches could continue to trade amid this downward slope where the upside could be seen here at this level and the lower side could be seen well below the lower end of this sliding slope. So friends here I find that any downward move well below the lower end of this sliding slope will provide a good opportunity to go long well from the last order of 5.330 from where a sharp reversal can be seen and on the upper side I find that if the natural switches try to sustain well above the upper end of this sliding zone we will see a sell off from the reversal to the 7.101. So friends here I find that this will be a significant resistance for the natural switches for the upcoming week where we could find an advent of sharp sell off if the natural switches try to test the server once again the natural switches could remain extremely volatile during the upcoming week so here I find that any downward move well below the level of the 5.568 will provide a good opportunity to go on with a stop loss at the level of 5.4 because here I find that the natural switches could retest the level of the 5.322 from where once again you could find sharp reversal during the upcoming week so thank you friends thanks for watching this video if you like this video don't forget to share this video with your more and more friends thank you